Goldie Pig. And the three friends of varying sizes. By, by Piper Penman and Kate Shirk. Once upon a time, there were three friends of varying sizes. Queen Elsa, the dragon who loves tacos, and R2-D2. They enjoyed a large dinner together, so they were all too full to eat their desserts. They decided to go for a walk while they waited for their stomachs to be ready for their delicious desserts. After they left, a mischievous guinea pig named Gold Pig walked by the friend's home. She was curious and didn't understand about the concept of personal property, so she opened their door and walked inside. She found the friend's desserts. Because Goldie Pig was always hungry, she tried each one. First, she tried R2-D2's dessert, but spit it out. It's too chocolatey. Not one to respect other people's things, Goldie Pig knocked over the table and tried the Dragon Who Loves Tacos dessert. She also spit this dessert out. This fruit tart is too squishy. Finally, she tried Queen Elsa's ice cream, but spit it across the room. This ice cream is too cold, but the leftover carrot is just dry. And she gobbled it all up. Curious if she might find more snacks, Goldie Pig wandered into the living room where there were three chairs of varying sizes. First, she looked at R2-D2's chair. This chair is too small. Then she saw the dragon who loves tacos chair. She pushed it with her nose and it rocked back and forth. This chair is too wobbly. Everyone knows guinea pigs don't like to rock and roll. Then she saw Queen Elsa's chair. It didn't look very comfortable to sit in, but it looked perfect for chewing. She knocked it over and took some bites. This tastes just right. After all that chewing, Goldie Pig was very tired. She checked each room for the perfect bed to rest her head. First, she went into R2-D2's room and saw his bed. This bed is too small. Then she went in the Dragon Who Loves Tacos room. Goldie Pig tried a few nibbles of the bed, but it just didn't feel right. This bed is too tricky. Those are fake flowers. Finally, she entered Queen Elsa's room. She climbed up on the bed and snuggled in. This bed is just right. As Goldie Pig peacefully snored in Queen Elsa's bed, the three friends returned from their walk, eager to enjoy their desserts. They walked into the kitchen to find an awful surprise. First, R2-D2 exclaimed, Beep, beep, bloop, bloop, which means someone has been eating my dessert. Then, the dragon who loves tacos bellowed, Someone has been eating my dessert. And Elsa sang, My ice cream melt, it's on your belt, and someone ate my favorite carrot. More dark surprises awaited the trio in the living room. R2-D2 beeped. Beep, boop, beep, blah which translates to, someone has been chewing on my chair. The dragon who loves tacos roared, someone has been chewing on my chair. Elsa saw her chair and crooned, 
Someone knocked over my chair. This isn't fair. And I think they left a clump of hair. Ew. The friends bravely went forth to see what dire disappointments awaited them in their bedrooms. R2-D2 saw his bed and squeaked. Beep! Boop! Da! Doop! Da! The closest translation goes something like, For the love of chocolate, someone's been sleeping in my bed, and the hair, I might as well go back and live with the Wookiee. <laughs> then the dragon who loves tacos saw his room and was aghast. Someone has been chewing on my bed. At least they didn't find the tacos I kept hidden under the pillow. The three friends all went to Elsa's room only to find a great beast of a surprise. It's not a bear, but there's so much hair. I cannot believe that you would dare. Frightened by the rhyming songstress and her equally unusual friends, Goldie Pig jumped out of bed and ran away as fast as her four stubby legs could take her. And she never came back to this house, at least. From then on, the three friends always locked their door when they left the house, and they lived happily ever after. The end.